Hello everybody, excuse my nasally voice, but I have fall allergies now too, even though it's not technically fall yet, but it's almost fall. So I got this book. I ordered it a long time ago, but apparently Zulily takes forever for it to ship to your house, so this came today, which is September 4th. So I got the doll school book, and this one I might actually use, because I am doing like a school video, to school type video right now. I don't know if that'll be up soon, but hopefully it will. So over here is the book, and then it shows you um, a bunch of stuff that you could do. And I'm super sorry if I sniffle a lot, but I'll try to edit some of them out. Like you can make your own little doll lunch, some books. It comes with like a coloring page that you can do for art class, math class, practice your arithmetic, spelling, handwriting, language arts, social studies, science, geography. It comes with like a little locker um, thing you can put on your wall. And then teacher stuff, stuff to set up class, and yeah, that's pretty cool. I feel bad making videos when I'm sick because I sound awful, but I'm sure you guys don't mind, right? Hopefully. Alright, so here's the... It's stuck to it. So you can see where the sticky stuff was. And then there's a Meet Rebecca book. I think I have this one because I have the Mini Rebecca. It's paperback. So then it also comes with this ABC letter banner type thing so it has the whole alphabet on it all the way to Z so you can hang that up it's probably around the upper part of your walls in the classroom like up in the front or the back okay and then this sheet just shows you all the stuff that it kind of comes with so here is a butterfly poster. I'm super sorry about my voice too, it's kind of raspy. And then there's these stickers that you put on this poster. So you kind of like match up the butterflies to where they go. And here's some stars, I know they're kind of hard to see. There's star stickers and then um, I think this is for the teacher. And then I don't know what these are for yet. And then there's a fake calculator. Which I won't be using because I actually have a little calculator that's perfect size for them. Oh my goodness. So if you're making your own books, there's a whole bunch of stickers you can put on the bindings of the books. And then there's a bunch of other stickers. I'm not really sure what they're for, but they're just kind of there. So that was cool. They gave you like little words for your books. I don't know if they're the same though. So it says for the spine. These are spine words and then these are book cover words. So I'm not really sure how that's supposed to work if they're not two of each. Oh, these are cute. So if you I remember doing like cursive in your school, they give you these little sheets and then they already have some like a sentence written out and then you need to re- write it on your own line like by yourself on this little super cute piece of paper oh my gosh and then it's also double sided which is really cool story starters for writing class okay and then there's like a fake thing of crayons I'm guessing and then for music class there's a piano and then here's a photo tip sheet I'm not really sure why but it's for when you take school pictures of your dolls, which is so cute. Oh, here's the color sheet. I will probably color this later on because I actually like to color. So here's the attendant sheet. I'll probably make copies of this because this is actually really cool. The teacher's attendance and grade book. Here's the grade sheet. My grading system is kind of the same. And then there's the student's name, and then here's the 
grade sheet or you have a bunch of stuff you do and then you write down the teacher writes down your grade that you get all right what's this oh spelling i always love spelling oh my gosh they spell look at chocolate that's so funny jellyfish it's fun looking at all the ones that are spelt wrong because it's kind of cute actually each word worth five points oh my gosh Ours are like only worth one point. Dang. It's actually kind of... Oh, never mind. How do they all spell... Wait. Chocolate. Chocolate. So, some of them are different. So, if you can see this one. Spelled C-H-O-K-L. And then this one over here is C-H-O-K-O-L. That's kind of cool that they decided to... Make them a little bit different. Then here's unit two. Smelling nothing on the back. And this is unit three. Smelling and then this is the teacher's copy. Obviously they're right. At least I hope they are. Here's math unit one. I'm going to show you uh, one up close. See how they're like two different answers for some of them 18 27 16 25 unit 2 greater than and less than these are so cute oh my gosh unit 3 logical reasoning oh okay so you can make your own little writing journal and then there's some extra pages that are front and back which is pretty cool spirit patch and cheer flaps those are fun and then here are the pictures. And then I think these are posters. And then here are the yearbook photos, which are really cute. I do have her. And yeah, that's the only doll I have that's in here is that one. Here is a map, which I might color as well because it's white and boring. So it's just the United States, South, Af South America, sorry. Oh my gosh, Europe. Africa and then Australia and then there's nothing on the back here is the whiteboard which it's not focusing on because it's having a hard time so I don't know what the back is maybe a chalkboard but I don't think chalk would write on that but okay whiteboard which I probably won't use because I do have this if you guys remember this like stand thing it's like more realistic for school in my opinion so I probably won't be using the cardboard one I don't even know if this would be big enough for um this is like the picture background for when you do school pictures you're supposed to, it's supposed to go behind your doll but I don't think it's big enough I might have to find like scrapbook paper that looks similar to this but it's kind of small all right, more punch outs. I love punch outs. Here's a report card. Thingy report cards were always scary. Super speller certificate. And then library cards. Here's the inside of the grading thingy. And here is these more certificate type thing so good attitude award outstanding reader birthday star perfect penmanship and then i think i got one like this for math class if i remember correctly and then there's a bunch of flashcards. cards there are lunch tickets and hall passes and on the back it has the answers for the flash cards these are file folders oh my goodness if you can tell the tab is up here and then you fold it in half and it's like a manila folder but different colors and there's orange and green pink and kind of like a aqua ish color oh milk cartons oh and here's the crayon box and here's a milk carton I'm not really sure what this is but I'm sure I'll figure it out Oh no, another report card. Oh no, more! They give you like 
four of each thing, basically. Oh, no way. These are for the books. Make your own books. They give you cardboard. That is so cool. Those look like little cardboard cutouts. Here's the easel. Which, like I said, I won't be using because I have that other thing. And then here is the locker thingy. You just um, tape to any sort of wall or door, something like that. So that is pretty dang cool. So that's everything in this doll school book. It has a lot of stuff in it, especially if you want to do like school videos for your dolls, which I might actually do. It's kind of too late now, but we always have next year, right? But I think that's so cool. And if you ever find this book like on sale somewhere, I totally recommend it. I don't know that it's worth the original $21.99 price, but it's definitely worth the sale price that I got it for, which was like $12.99, yeah. If you find it anywhere on sale, be sure to pick it up, and it's I think it's very useful. I mean, you could put together a lot of different things, and you can play school with your dolls and whatnot, so... So a lot of different things you could use for this, definitely. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye!